Alice the armadillo. Alice curled her head into her leathery shell and prepared to sleep through the day. Later in the cool evening, she would wake and hunt for the forest floor for juicy grubs to eat. But now, in the heat of the day, it was time for an armadillo to sleep. But today, Alice wasn't going to get any sleep. A noisy flock of parrot had arrived on the branches above. They were screeching and squawking and quarreling about which team was going to win the league. The kind of thing that parrots quarrel about a lot. And they clearly weren't going to stop. Excuse me, said Alice timidly, poking her head out of her burrow. Could you be a little quieter? I am trying to sleep. Then she added, Please, just as one always should. The parrot looked down at Alice and shrugged. So which is your team, mate? They ask. Parrots call everyone, mate. Who is going to win the cup? Alice didn't know, of course. She knew nothing about soccer. Don't waste your time asking her, interrupted a flashy green parrot. Armadillos don't know about soccer. They don't know about anything. They bury themselves in a burrow and sleep all day. They don't live. Oh dear, it was true. Alice knew nothing about soccer. But was it true that she didn't live? Did all real living go on when she was asleep? By the time the sun broke the next day, Alice had made up her mind. She was going to live. For the first time ever, she would see the forest bath in sunlight. How colorful it was in the sunshine. Alice had never seen colors like it. And how noisy it was. So much buzzing, so much clicking and cracking and chirping. So much flitting and flying. So much life. It drew Alice farther and farther into the clearing. Farther and farther from the safety of her burrow. The big black panther came from nowhere. He hadn't seen an armadillo before. But like most cats, he was curious about anything small that scuttled about on four legs. Alice felt his hot breath as he sniffed her. And this was enough. In a second, she had tucked herself into a shell and the panther found himself staring at a hard round ball. The panther tapped the ball. He rolled it over. He rolled it this way and that. Bah! He said and he swiped it away with one huge paw. Right up into the trees. The monkeys knew all about balls. They caught Alice very nimbly in their paws and threw her from one to another. It was quite a game. They even played a sort of monkey version of basketball where they ran up and down the trees with a ball. But when they dropped Alice and she rolled and rolled down the bank and into the river, they quickly lost interest. But the alligators didn't. They were pretty good at ball games too. They played a kind of water polo. Having Alice to play with was a great fun. But it only took one wrong bounce to get her back on dry land. So the capybaras were taken completely by surprise when Alice landed with a thump at the door of their tunnel. After the fright she has had, it took a little squaxing to get her to come out of her shell. But they were very impressed with her day's adventures. She had met with panthers, monkeys and alligators. She had been all around the clearing 
up in the trees and down in the river she had lived but alice was tired and lost she wasn't sure she wanted any more adventures she just wanted to go home the capybaras knew just which way to go the tunnels led right back to alice's burrow and there was no danger she would meet panthers or monkeys or alligators down there mm -mm, no chance at all All the next day Alice slept soundly. She didn't even hear the parrots. She had done quite enough living for one little armadillo. Alice the armadillo teaches about the value of taking on a challenge. Alice's challenge is to try something new and explore a world she doesn't know. By trying something new, Alice learned new things about herself and the world around her. She discovers that she has courage and curiosity she didn't know she had. You can make exciting new discoveries about yourself and your world too. You can make a lot of interesting discoveries by trying a new activity, getting to know a new friend, or even just changing your attitude. 